Hey everybody, Uncle Jesse here. I just wanted to give a big shout out to Peter Snyder, AKA Kelonius over on Thingiverse, who is creating some absolutely ridiculous cosplay files that you can download and print with. And he actually watched one of my videos and saw in the background this huge Gotham City manhole cover that I have had sitting around for years now that I have never finished painting. I've got to get around to finishing that and weathering it and making it look really cool. But what he did was he saw that in the background and made mini versions of them that you can use as coasters around your house. He has a weathered version, one that has a little bit of damage and one that's completely solid. These are very cool, very quick and easy to print. I think this all took maybe an hour and a half to print and are perfect for your drinks around your house. I'm going to get these spray painted and finished up and looking really cool. But that's not all. Printed this on a CR10. I don't know, these are a little small, so I figured why not print this a little bit bigger? All right, and here is the 14 inch version of this. It's 14 inches in diameter here. It's uh, gonna look awesome on display on my wall. Really looking forward to this. Uh, now I have two versions of this that I'll have printed and I printed the damaged version. I ended up using uh, four top, uh, four layers for the top fill and I probably should have gone uh, probably five or six in Simplify 3D because I do have a little bit of gaps here. It'll be minor to fill when I go back in to finish this. I also used no uh, base layer for this so that it would print really fast. Well, really fill fast is relative. I think it was about 13 hours it took to print this. Very happy with how it turned out and really looking for I'm actually debating on not painting this one just because I like how the green looks on it, but I think I'll end up spray painting. Maybe I'll end up printing another one and uh, just trying it out in a few different ways. But I just want to say a big shout out to him. He's also on Patreon. So if you're interested in helping support an awesome designer, head on over there. I've got links down below and I've got links to his Thingiverse page where you can check out all of his files from Deathstroke to the M2 or the Mass Effect helmet. I can't remember what series that is of the helmet, but it's just ridiculous some of the stuff that he's done. And he's just done a Deadpool mask. So I'm interested in printing that just to see how it compares to this Deadpool mask. But just wanted to give a quick shout out to him. Make sure to check him out. Thanks again for watching you guys and stay tuned because I will be painting all of these very, very soon. All right, thanks again for watching you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye now.